Hi, I'm Carla Hartley, and today I'm going to be continuing our discussion about moving away in the context of a family law proceeding. Today's discussion is going to be centered on an overview of what the court has to look at when, when a case has been filed. We, we have paperwork that has been served, so we have a court that for sure has jurisdiction, and now one party wants to move with the child or the children. For the purposes of this video, I'm going to refer to this as one child, but the rules pretty much apply across the board to child or children. Today is an overview, meaning there are many factors that the court must consider. They all are going to have different weights. I'm not going to go into the procedural requirements because, you know, trade secrets, I'm not telling you everything. But the primary questions that a, course, a court must consider before granting a move away are well established by case law and are in the list that I'm, I'm giving you here today. After today, I'm going to break each one of these out and, and provide a separate discussion on each item. And again, there's no way to get to the bottom of this in even, you know, a bunch of videos. But I'm going to try to give you a good overview so that you can look at this and say, hmm, maybe I have a chance to move away, or hmm, maybe I have a chance to stop that other side from moving away. Certainly you should know your rights before agreeing to anything. All right, so here we go. What questions does the court have to answer in order to grant a move away in the context of a, an active and served family law proceeding? So first, is there a primary custodian? not getting into de to definitions here. We just have to start figuring this out. This is one of the questions. Second question, can the party objecting to the move prove detriment to the child sufficient to cause the court to want to switch custody to the formerly not primary custodial parent? The third one, will the move have a substantial chilling effect on the non-custodial parent's relationship with the children? Fourth, how will the move affect the child's interest in stability and continuity in the custodial arrangement? That, I think, is, is something that a lot of parents don't consider, and the court must consider it. Next, how, is the prim how far is the primary custodian planning to move? The length of the move, the, the, the distance of the move, is important, obviously. Where the primary custodian is planning to move is also important. What is the child's age, level of maturity, and the child's wishes? Is this, this, is, this is a large thing if the child is old enough to have a significant preference and if the child is statutorily old enough for the, that the court must take it into consideration, um, then the child will have a lot more influence on what happens. But if the child's age and level of maturity are not sufficient for the child to be making a good decision that it can force and enforce itself, then, then probably this won't be given as much weight. Next question the court has to answer or has to get an answer for, make a determination about, is what is the quality of each of the child's relationship with each parent? Then we have what is the quality of the relationship between the child's two parents? Again, that's something that's important. Finally, the court has to, has to address what are the reasons for the proposed move. That's a tricky one. And while on its surface that looks like an, an easy answer, it, it, it really does call for, for a further in-depth examination. So that is the broad overview of what a court has to look at when one party wants to move away with the child from, from the immediate area. And I think it's worth considering because we have an increasingly transient society. Uh, we have a lot of military people who, who must move pursuant to court orders. And a lot of times we, we see that, that people just can't afford to continue to live in the location where they're at, especially in the context of, of getting a divorce or breaking up with, with their child's parents or the child's other parent. Suddenly we're looking at the income that supported one household now has to support two. So move aways are a big issue, it's a big topic, and the court takes them very seriously because, because our courts, at least, at least the courts that I regularly appear in front of, 
are very vested in and, and very much involved with trying to make sure they're deciding what is best for your child. That's all I have for today, and as I said, I will be presenting a series of videos breaking each one of these points down over the next couple of weeks.